Welcome to Morningstar. The stock market year of 2023 has really come off to a great start here in Europe. And surprisingly, our European markets have been outperforming the American market during these last few months. With me today is Morningstar's European market strategist, Michael Field, who will explain what's going on. Michael, I think that this outperformance might come as a surprise to many investors. I mean, we are battling pretty big issues here in Europe with war, inflation and ongoing energy crisis and so on. What is behind this outperformance? Yeah, so I think people looking from the outside, Johanna, at the stock market performance are going to be a little bit surprised to see you're about performing, given all the issues that you've mentioned. But I think bigger picture here, Europe drastically underperformed the US last year. It got beaten up far worse than the US. And there was valid reasons for this, right? We're much closer to the Ukraine situation. We have potential energy shortages. Inflation seemed to be a bit more of a problem, particularly in the UK. So as we got a little bit more optimism toward the end of the year and the beginning of this year, then Europe kind of leapfrogged the US and recovered a lot of, the, a lot of that lost ground. Okay, so is there anything during these last um, months where you've followed the stock market that surprised you? Um, I think the speed of the recovery has probably surprised me. You know, ultimately, we had said back in October, the market is drastically undervalued, that there's this huge opportunity there for kind of longer term thinking investors. And we thought eventually the market would recover and it would catch up to that level that we think the market is kind of worth. Um, but what surprised us yeah, is how quickly investors have turned you know, their attitudes and suddenly become far more optimistic about this. And all it really took was a few months of seeing inflation fall a little bit. And then that gave them confidence around interest rate decisions and you know, potential recession as well. And that's kind of snowballed into the kind of positive performance that you've seen to date. OK, so if we then look at a a bit at the future, and I know it's always hard to predict the future, but should we expect this outperformance to last? Um, it's, always, it's always difficult to say whether the actual, whether it's going to keep up from that perspective. I think ultimately, if you look at markets where they are now and where we think they're valued, we're still slightly below the level at which we think they're valued. So there's nothing to say that markets should fall dramatically from here. They haven't even really caught up with where they're valued. That being said, you know, there's plenty of macro risks out there um, and that could influence markets negatively if something goes wrong. OK, so what would you say then are the biggest risks in the market right now? You know, I think in the old days, you could probably name one thing and it could be kind of a, a nebulous concept. And, you know, people would say, OK, whereas now we've got some really clear risks to look at. Um, you know, we've had a few months of inflation falling, but there's nothing to say that that doesn't pick up again particularly in Europe, where, you know, trade union contracts and things like this are being re renegotiated this year. So you could see a ticket in inflation up again. Energy shortages, again, could become an issue, depending on how long the winter lasts and how well, you know, the Eurozone governments replenish the reserves over the summer, etc. So that's another risk. Um, re recession, ultimately, as well. We're teetering on the brink of recession constantly. Um, so there's nothing to say we wouldn't fall back into recession again. And, you know, you see build business insolvencies and stuff like this as a result. So I think there's a, there's a multitude of risks there. And I think we really need to be aware of that. Plenty of risks then out there. So thank you so much, Michael, for joining us today and giving us a bit of insight into what the markets are at at the moment. And until next time, I'm Joanna England for Morningstar. Music